So welcome back for part 3. Uh, we are at the nuclear factory where nuclear rods and pellets are created. Everything that is nuclear is created here. Um, but I will leave this area now because we go to where it's being used. So as you can see this that that drone over there is going to pick up the uranium fuel rods. Oh it's a bit confused. I'm not sure why it's this confused. Hello drone. Please land. Okay. I don't know what's the matter with it with this guy. High radiation levels, of course. Oh, oh, that's not good for my health. Well, leave him be. Let's go back to the station so we can see where this is going. Well, it's not going anywhere, but <laughs> where it's supposed to go. Oh, is the other guy also leaving? No. So, say goodbye to the nuclear area so below me you see the water plant that is fueling the nuclear power plants but it's also using a little bit of the waste from the pellets factory that also produces water In most cases, I don't really want to come here because it's very nuclear here. So let me shortly explain what's going on here. So this is the power plant. They are not all turned on. I think I only use three of them. So this tower here, it gets the nuclear, uh, the plutonium or uranium rods puts it into this tower puts it on this conveyor belt here and then it's being consumed by the nuclear power plants um, then the second tower here it's basically getting the waste and putting it there in this huge waste facility that I built Maybe I shouldn't go down here, but... This is all built when I didn't have like nice floors and stuff, so it looks a little bit default-ish. So these are the power plants that are turned on. Do they still have enough pellets? Guess they have. No power. Hmm. Well, something is going wrong here. I also can't see that there is like a belt missing here, which I don't know why. Let's 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 fix this very quickly. Uh, I didn't play for a little bit, so I'm already confused how the thing works. Uh, 
But okay, normally it's supposed to come from this tower over here. Except that I think the drone is confused. Because normally it would come over this edge to this tower. But it's fine. And this one is getting all the waste and put it, putting it over there. There is a drone. We still have enough power, don't worry. So let's continue. There are some batteries on that mountain cliff, I don't know. Well, let's break in time. So this is a very nuclear area. And that is because, well, you guess, it's nuclear waste storage. Which is, of course, full of nuclear waste. So you see two towers for receiving nuclear waste. Oh, there's the battery train coming, which will unload some batteries here for the drones. So, and then when they arrive here, the waste is being stored in all these storage containers. I have plenty of them, as you can see. Then, when it's full, I can use this drone to send them back to the uh, pellets factory which uses these I'm out of power which is fine so basically this is the whole nuclear loop let's go to the second aluminium base Let's go to the correct spot this time. So we are here at the bauxite mines. Hopefully it stopped in time to not block trains. So there are multiple mines over there and there. 
then all coming together in this nice looking distribution hub which is also like the buffer for all the factories so it will never run out and then it will be transferred to this tower to this factory over here which is a bit of a troublesome factory because the aluminium solution is full and then everything stops so I still have to make some kind of control center I guess for this so it's not stopping the whole thing uh, well, it's getting water from here also putting that on the roof for pressure water pressure as you can see everything works again So we are creating aluminium casings here. Um, this building is creating aluminium scraps. And putting a part of it in that awesome sink over there. So everything will continue to flow even when there, when there is not enough um, being consumed. So you see in out. Smart splitter. So only when it's full it goes to the awesome sink. If not everything will work fine. It will go into the station building over here. which makes in the end not here but it will make aluminium cases this makes aluminium ingots which I also want transfer it to here and it creates aluminium casings here And then, if everything is correct, there will be a train coming at some point, which picks this all up. So let's go to the last section. To the rocket base where I basically only make more screws because I had a sh shortage and everything took very long to get to the last part there's a nice view of the base The left is the, the other aluminium factory, but you don't really see it. You see the tracks there. And there is the coal power plant again. There's the aluminium ingot train. It's a bit of a shame the signals are not working. Let's hope I don't crash here.
Did I do this correct? No. <laughs> you cannot really go from here to there, so I have to take the other route. Just blocking that train there. It's fine. In front is a nitrogen station, but we will skip it today. There's not a lot to see. You can see it here in the distance. Pretty basic. Didn't put a lot of effort in it. So this is the rocket base. That is because I want it to look like a rocket. I hope you can see it's a rocket or spaceship. It has nozzles, rockets, engines. You probably can guess what I cre what I'm making here. A lot of screws. This is the the buffer buffer building that I created. So there's always some buffer in case there's no power or something. Let's see if I go from a distance, if you can make it out. It's a rocket. Put some rocket engines on the bottom. It's not really a rocket, or rocket engines, but fluid buffers. But let's use your imagination. It was a little bit uh, bigger building than I wanted to create. So this is the launch tower. It's a far way up. Is there an entrance actually? Uh, not here. Don't I have an entrance? Oh, there. Like there's the fit, the the rocket wings. You can see what's inside. Just a lot of factories for making screws and more screws. But I still have a lot of room left to do other things. Just the upper section. A lot of lights. Oh, don't try to fall. Uh, don't fall. 
Not a lot of power here. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can go to the top. Oh, almost. The top of the rocket. You have a nice view of everything. So, over there is the main base. Over there, the aluminium base. Somewhere over there should be the nuclear power plants. And over there, behind the elevator, there's more raw oil production. Seems like the screw train just arrived. So oh, this basically was the whole tour of the whole base. Now oh, let's go to the main base. And launch the last part of the elevator for this satisfactory with update 9. Was it 9? And then I can update to 1.0 and start all over again. This save was like 400 hours. You see, I have a nice view of the rocket base over there. This is like a save of 470 hours or something. A lot. Let's say it like that. Park it here. No, let's park it elsewhere. Let's park it. It's also getting night. Some nice views. Yeah, maybe I should just park it. On my parking spot where we all where it all started. Let's do that. And don't try to crash into another train. to be careful. I went to the red light. Nobody saw it, right? You might wonder why I keep that whole weird structure there, but it's powering the whole f uh, raw fuel base that is in, the, in, in that mountain. So if I remove it, the whole base the whole fuel base in the mountain goes off, so I cannot really remove it. Because I cannot hook up stuff into in the mountain, fortunately. Oh, what I'm doing. I can just use the transport system, of course. We also have this building.
no power here. Rich quartz or juices quartz. Oh, if you wonder how it looks like under the floor, it looks like this. Uh, just a maze of belts everywhere. Uh, there should be also some... Ah, there's a stair. I also made some picking holes for just for interesting views. Like here, uh, like here, and here. Let's see if this works. Oh God. that was it elevator complete for update 9 now it's time to start my new save start from scratch in in the 1.0 update thanks for watching bye